Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Today I'm going to be working on this old Technics turntable see if I can get it going. I've got it hooked up to my old Pioneer amplifier here. I'm not really getting too much sound out of it. I think all we need to do is replace the needle so let's dig into it. So here's my old Technics SLQD33 turntable. I actually bought this thing used back in the early 90s from a guy in town that used to sell refurbished stereo equipment. And the condition it's in right now is pretty much the condition it was in when I bought it. The only difference is it's a little bit dustier than it used to be, but this top cover was broken and all scratched up even when I bought it. But the turntable itself was always in good shape and worked well for many years. So I haven't used this thing in a couple of years. I dug it out the other day to give it a try and found that it really wasn't producing very much sound. Let me fire up the amplifier and let you guys hear what it sounds like right now before we do anything to fix it. So I've only got about two dozen or so records in my collection. So I dug through and tried to find one that I thought was least likely to throw a copyright flag on my channel. So I'm going to throw Dick Dale's Wild Hot Rod Whales on the turntable and I'll show you guys what it sounds like now before I make an attempt to try and fix it. So in that previous clip, hopefully you guys were able to make out that the sound quality was kind of tinny. There were really no low ends to it. And I don't think I showed it in the camera, but I had the volume on the amplifier all the way up to about three quarters to get the sound that I was able to get, which is just barely listenable. So to try and fix the problem, I'm going to replace my needle and cartridge with this Audio-Technica AT85EP that I picked up on Amazon. So here's the new needle and cartridge. Not a whole lot to look at here. There's a protective cover over it to protect the needle. And there's the pins that'll plug into the tone arm. This is a P-style cartridge. So I've got the amplifier and the turntable powered off and I'm getting ready to change my old needle and cartridge, which happens to be an Audio-Technica DR350. Now because I bought this unit used, I don't know if this is the original needle and cartridge to the turntable, but even if it's not the original, it goes back to the early 90s, so it's time to change it. So to remove the needle and cartridge, all I have to do is remove this screw, and then I should be able to just unplug this from the tone arm. So now I'll just plug in the new one. And put the screw back in. Now that that's tight, I can pull off this protective cover and we'll try it out. Now that I have that sorted out, I think I'm going to put Dick Dale's Hot Rod Whales away and go for something a little bit more my style. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to learn more about my channel, check the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.